Jeff Lochtefeld, here's a suggestion. If I were the mayor of Oakville, Illinois, I think I would propose that the name of this southern Illinois community of about 1,400 be changed from Oakville to Lochtefeld, Illinois. Lochtefeld is the first family of Oakville basketball, and basketball is what the city is known for and most proud of. Tonight we honor another member of that famous family, Jeff Lochtefeld. Jeff's father, David, coached the high school team from 1962 to 2000. His teams won 748 games. He also served in the Illinois Senate for 22 years. He attended St. Louis University. So did his brother, Stanley. David's son, Jeff, who we are honoring tonight, also headed off to the Gateway City to become a Billiken. Jeff took a basketball with him. His credentials are impressive. He earned All-State honors at Oakville, helping the Rockets to win 29 games in the 86-87 season, finishing second to Venice in the state finals. He scored over 1,400 points, 538 rebounds, 389 assists, and shot over 77% from the free throw line. At St. Louis U, he proved that guys from small towns in Illinois can shoot the basketball. Under Coach Rich Grauer, he was a three-year starter. Jeff hit 139 three-pointers, had 120 steals, and shot 74% from the free throw line. He played on two Billiken teams and finished second in the NIT. Jeff's sister Donna and brother Ryan also played at St. Louis U. Maybe there should be a Luchtefeld plaque at St. Louis U. But there will be one in Jeff Luchtefeld's home because tonight we welcome the Southern Illinois sports legend into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Luchtefeld. Jeff? Does that work? Yes, it does. All right. First of all, congratulations. Thank uh, you so much. I want to reiterate what Greg said. Uh, this young man can really, really shoot the basketball. Unbelievable shooter. And uh, like Ron said on the highlight, uh, first family of Oakville basketball. I can extend that to the first family of, I say, Southern Illinois and St. Louis University basketball as well. Uh, what was that like to be part of such a, a tremendous force, family basketball for us in Southern Illinois. Uh, not only great players, but a great support system. Uh, and being a part of that a family. Uh, never noticed us being a force. Uh, what I did growing up with dad coaching for all the time that he did. Uh, I was telling somebody tonight that when I was eight years old, I grabbed the keys off the top of the refrigerator and I'd go to the high school and go shooting. An advantage that nobody else had. I had a full court basketball court in my backyard. It was one and a half blocks away. Uh, Dad always made sure we didn't get too high on ourselves. He was still like that. Uh, but, uh, but no, it was, I really had a whole lot of fun. Everything went well for me. I'm lucky. I just noticed uh, uh, your dad, Dave Luchtefeld, a Hall of Fame coach, and Rich Grower, your college coach, sitting together. I just noticed that while I was eating, hey, that's about 15, 1,700 wins, multiple Hall of Fames. What was it like? being able to learn and play under two such uh, tremendous basketball coaches at the high school and college level. That, that's another thing. Uh, I really consider myself lucky that the amount that I learned under them, I thought I learned a lot playing for my dad. And there were things that I learned from Coach Grower that I still, even today, talk to my daughter or other people about the influence that certain things have on the outcome of a game. And those are things that I'm not sure many coaches realize, and both of them did. I remember back in the day in the 80s, the high school tournament in Illinois, you can watch the games if you couldn't get the champagne, you can watch them all on WGN TV or the Cub, the Cub Station. And the 1987 state tournament, I just remember you going on such a roll uh, when you guys got the champagne all the way to the championship game. I believe you got 29 points against Venice, going against Jesse Hall, one of the greats in our area. Uh, first of all, to be able to play in a state championship game and take your father's team to the state championship game, what was that experience like for you? Well, growing up, uh, there were a number of years as a kid I got to go to the state tournament with my dad. And if there is, that's all we wanted to do. We wanted to go to state tournament. We wanted to play at Champaign. Uh, so much so that Illinois was where I really wanted to play. Uh, fortunately for me, Coach Gower came calling and asked me. Lou Henson never did. <laughs> 
to close that season with 29. I know it was a cl close loss, but to be able to play your best when it mattered, how much did that mean to you during that run in Champaign? I know you wanted the championship as well. You know, it, it happened so fast. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people here played sports, and it happened so fast, you, you don't have time to think about it. It was that much fun. Moving to the collegiate level, St. Louis University during your time, of course, it was the, you were part of the, some great teams, Monroe Douglas, Roland Gray, Anthony Bonner, but a lot of people forgot about this kid from Oakville knocking down the corner threes, and you guys went to the NIT championship game twice, and uh, you guys were able to you know, revive St. Louis U and, and kind of put them on the national map, so to speak. What was that like for you to be able to uh, put your local school on the national map in New York City? Well, it was, uh, what really brought it home was, I remember after, I think we were playing New Mexico, and we came from behind uh, 20 or 24 yes. points to beat them, and our trainer called back, and he said that everybody in St. Louis was going crazy, and I didn't understand it. I, I mean, huge support. I think year after year, we ranked near the top 20 in attendance, but to me, it was St. Louis University, and it's not Duke. But St. Louis really, they really stood behind us, and I really can't tell you how much I appreciate that. In the NIT, playing in Madison Square Garden, or young man from small town Oakville, Illinois, to Madison Square Garden, uh, the mecca of basketball and everything, what was that for you? Well, growing up, the garden was the top place uh, where sports in the winter was played, basketball was played, and the opportunity to have played not only there four times, played against people like Steve Smith, who showed me a few things, uh, Jason Williams. Uh, it, it was, it's just mind blowing that I was like, lucky enough to have been able to experience that. Now the Luckfeld family tradition continues. As a matter of fact, it's continuing tonight as we speak. While he's going into the Hall of Fame, his daughter, Riley, if I mistake, is uh, playing for Nashville, Illinois in the sectional championship. So she's quite a young player in her own right. And so she's trying to, uh, not only trying, but carrying on the family tradition. Uh, I imagine uh, you have to be a proud father. Uh, I'm impressed. And a nervous she's one, I imagine, nervous tonight. One. They win, they won. All right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're... Uh, sectional finals or super sectional? Uh, first game of the sectional. First game of sectional. All finals right. of Thursday night. Thursday night. Well, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. What's it, before we let you go, what's it like to see uh, your daughter develop? Uh, I really consider myself fortunate because not often do you have a child that actually listens to their parent. What's that? I, people are surprised, but she, she wants to learn, and I'm lucky. So it's, it's really a joy watching her grow the way she has. Well, Jeff, once again, it was a pleasure watching you and your whole family play, not only at Oakville, but as a Billiken fan and supporter, what you guys have done for the Billiken program. Congratulations and welcome to the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame, Illinois Legends. Jeff Luckfeld, everybody.